Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 63 for, I don't even know what day it is because I don't have my script up. Uh, what's up, man? How are you doing today, Kent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. It's the 8th of January, by the way. Yeah, the 8th of January. There we go. Beta 63 for the 8th of January. <laughs> Look, one of us has to have show notes up when we do these things, man. This is... <laughs> Oh my God, man! This is gonna be one of those shows. Like it was if, your if week. It could go wrong. It, it, it's gonna go wrong. It was your week to have the show notes up. I don't understand why you're why you're so confused. <laughs> well, I have them up, but I'm not the one that reads them. Uh, look, minor difficulties. So, all right. <laughs> man, oh man, so how how has your week I, been? My my week has been busy. I've been doing a lot of promotion for this show. Yeah, letting yeah. everybody know that that Tay Allen is gonna be on the show, but. Is she? Man. Well, <laughs> that's the rumor. Um, I guess so, we'll I saw, see. I saw some tweets about eventually. that, but I haven't haven't actually seen the uh, <laughs> the fruits of those labors. Yeah. So, uh. um, yeah. So I've been doing a lot of social media advertising and, and trying to get some bits together and stuff for the yeah. show. And I don't know, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, other than that, work's been crazy and, and busy. I don't know. What, what have you been up to? Uh, well, working my ass off this week. Uh, finally published Undaunted, the first couple episodes of that. And then coming yep. into the weekend, uh, the uh, the dude up north decided to start messing around. And now we are on a two-hour recall period and no drinking, just in case you know he wants to get frisky. So well, I'll be sure to drink enough for the both of us. Well, I'm sure you should. That that should definitely happen. You should make make sure that's, that gets started there. So, um, <laughs> so with everything kind of going crazy, man, I uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I say we just go ahead and just jump into the meat of the of the podcast since we, we're not really going to have a chance to introduce Tay and stuff. So, um, right, right, right. What yep, do you say I'm we down. just uh, we that. just cut straight <laughs> into uh, straight into this right here? Um, this week, I am uh, my my uh, my talk. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be kind of an interesting experiment. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the talk. How's that sound to you, man? Yeah, man. Cool? Just do it. Roll. All up. right, man. And play. Hello, Tay Talk audience. Thank you so much for joining me here in Austin, Texas. It is a pleasure. I am so excited that you've brought me here today. I am looking forward to presenting to you a bunch of questions that I have no intention to answer, and then my time will run out. Now, in this prestigious auditorium, I'm excited to talk to you about Okpop. What is Okpop? It is, a t is it time for me to stop texting that British guy who I met on OkCupid three years ago, but he hasn't really responded since. Is the universe real? All questions we will tackle today. Now, when I received my Bachelor of Arts at the University of Southern California, a very prestigious institution, I spent many longorious days playing with gay men and making shitty music videos for the School of Theater talent show. Now, who knew at that time that the trials of those efforts and that incredible creativity would lead to millions of views of hate and wonder. How many tays does it take to make chocolate rain? A question I urge you to ask your children. Now, I like to think of my virality as sort of a gift to the masses. A plague, some would call me. But the world didn't know that it had been conditioned to repress all of the gloriously awkward things that connect us to each other and allow us to shoot the shit. I, with my revolutionaries known as taters, and they are the true ironic ones because while they are filled with gumptions, a tater tot is rather lumpy and often bland. I and my taters rolls through the muck of Cosmo quizzes and BuzzFeed articles to make truly gripping, awkward, uncomfortable content. One day, the world will be ready. And we may not do particle physics or quantum mechanics or engineering, but what we do is so much stronger 
because we are the awkward revolution that will change the face of, well, at least the 20 people watching this in chat room right now, forever. Thank you. Thank you. Please buy my book. It's 99 cents in the Amazon store. Thank you so much. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Okay, so That was awesome. So Thank so you. which part of awkward do you want to get into now because I've got two very distinct points that are just ripping ready roaring to go. Oh, ripping, running, roaring. Okay. Well, gentlemen, okay. let me for, first take of all, off my glasses for that. They also were really hurting my eyes because Christian. Um, all okay. right, so, so, yes. So as soon as you started talking about your gifts, the camera actually dropped down to your boobs. I don't know if that was intentional, but it had such an amazing effect. Yes! I wish I and, planned that. Okay. <laughs> and the other thing is, when we first started, when I clicked over to show you in the in your own window, it showed Kent again. So for the first <laughs> minute and a half of that, you were talking, but Kent was laughing just it, a double on screen. <laughs> That's perfect. That's good because who knows what the fuck I'm doing over here. All right, I've got this like light from Amazon that is it was five ninety nine, and it's like oh, but I don't know how to make it stay on my computer. And um, <laughs> you know, gonna use this iPhone six. Gosh, this is the most amazing <laughs> thing ever. We always talk uh, about we're still in beta because uh, shit always goes wrong. And now, now, we have, then we have Tay on, and holy fuck, shit hits the fan. Yeah, we we oh actually we, we actually had uh, one of our one of our friends was like uh, he's a, a, a Squidicus in in the chat realm. He said, mm -hmm. um, "Oh no, you're gonna have Tay Tay Allen on. You might actually make it out of beta." Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Despair. <laughs> Alpha after this. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, my God. So, Tay, how have you been? What have you been up to? Uh, well, I am so excited to be here. I am so happy that this all worked out and that you guys asked me to come on. I've been looking forward to this all week. Um, nice to see you both in person. Kent, he told me the story of how we met. I was really wasted, obviously. I think that was the time I had to Tay in like, hi, my name is on my boobs. And that's never uh, a good yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. It, it, actually, that was. That was that time. Yeah. Was, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that till now. Oh, my God. You know, it was like a costume piece. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it is good to be seeing you guys again and talking. And yeah, I'm just excited to be really goofy because, boy, that's how this has started. So that's what we got. Oh my gosh. Okay, so real quick, you have a, a rather interesting origin story as far as being the 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 the, the awkward blonde on the internet with the music stuff. Um yeah, you, oh, that is the nicest thing any man has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> She's in love, Amos. I'm I'm here to please. <laughs> wow. And in match dot com. <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, I can only fail at this so many times before it happens. Um, so give us give us a quick rundown your your thirty second story on 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 how you got to where you are. Sure, grew up super fat, two hundred pounds, no friends, trailer Taylor. That gave me social skills. <laughs> was hated in middle school, then was like bitchy in high school because I was so used to being like this is gonna be like a minute. People being mean, um, but I learned. So I was hated in high school a little bit. Then I went to college and I blossomed and I started making these really creepy music videos. And I was like, oh my god, my life has changed. Everyone loves me now. It's gonna be great. YouTube instantaneously hated on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to think I know how to make friends. So for like the ten percent of us who get it, we can be friends. Okay. Okay. So, so what 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 name do you commonly refer to your your fan base as? Taters. Okay. And it doesn't make any sense because that means Tay haters. But you guys did it to yourself. You chose Taters. I was trying to do like Team Tay and all this commercial <laughs> bullshit, and you wouldn't let Taters go. You shall not fight the organic bad name. <laughs> you can't. I love it. We're just we're just relishing in the hate constantly, <laughs> and it's fantastic. Just marinate in it. Oh, oh such a good I time. <laughs> so, so you, uh, you, you, you went to USC, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Southern California. Wait, you have, UFC? You're a fighter? 
You're in the UFC? Oh my God. Don't you know it? <laughs> no, um, USC. And don't ask me to recall too much of that because I was drunk for most of that too. <laughs> <laughs> At least oh, you're that's, consistent. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, guys. I don't, I don't think I've said this before on air, but fuck it. Um, I was like, you know, because I did grow up like so gross. I was, when I got there, I was like, oh my God, like I never drank. I was a virgin until I was 21. So I was like, this is party. This is fun. But I was in like the theater school. So we would throw <laughs> these parties, um, like for like intense costume parties. And for some reason I thought it was really cool and like, don't do this at home kids. But like to be like the naked girl. So like I, I wasn't ever naked, but I would find really inventive, crazy ways to wear, like, nothing. So, like, <laughs> one of the parties we threw, it was, like, and theater parties were kind of cool. Like, people would come because they knew we had cheap food. Like, they'd pay five bucks, and we'd basically hand them, like, a liter of vodka. So it was actually a fun <laughs> thing to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. Um, but I remember we had one, and it, the, it was, like, insane asylum themed, or, like, medical doctor insane asylum. So I decided to be the Red Cross, which entailed literally one strip of red fabric going this way, one going this way, covering my cooch. And that was... <laughs> oh, my God. Like, see, see, Ken, this is why we should have gone to college. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. I know. Uh, yeah. damn, damn Air Force. This is bullshit. You don't have parties like that in the Air Force. <laughs> Well, you got me now, Oh, Yay. man. Yay. This is more fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I decided to say, oh, USC. Yeah, that describes it all. <laughs> Amazing. And, and then you decided that that wasn't, that wasn't awkward enough for you, so we went back to Austin. Yeah, I mean, well, my crazy mini story about Austin, people have heard this, is that I didn't know Brian and Justin and all of them were in Austin. I had no idea. I went to high school in Austin. My family still is out here. Came back for South by, performed at South by, realized that they all lived here, then met Chat Realms, Zach, and Brant, and they wanted to shoot my next music video. So we came together and did that. And it just sort of like started rocking and rolling. Um, but everyone here is nerdy and geeky and techy. So why would I go back to LA where like all the gay guys were like five eight and gay and I was standing in a corner, like working at a Mexican Hooters. You know, what, what, what the? <laughs> <laughs> See, now those are some valid points. You know, we 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 aspire to uh, destroy all of Texas except for Austin because we uh, neither one of us really enjoys the state, but Austin holds a special place in our hearts. Um, yeah, Austin can remain. Austin is awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. And, That's uh, cool. Well, if you're going to destroy Austin, just give me a heads up and I'll periscope it because I'm really <laughs> needing some periscope content. <laughs> My periscope game is not very strong right now. Well, I, I don't know. I've, I've actually heard that, uh, that, you, that your periscopes are, are a special event. They, they're, they're, they're like, oh. like if you have not seen a, a Tay Allen periscope, you need to find one and watch it because... I, I've seen a couple myself, and I've thoroughly enjoyed them. And and Kent was saying that uh, earlier today you had one that was just epic. <laughs> Zumba, <laughs> Zumba for the win. Describe what you thought of that as as a male. I'd really love that opinion. <laughs> um, for those awkward, wondering, awkward? you can find uh, it. It's on my Facebook page. So if you're like really drunk after this and you just want idle, but yeah, go. Okay, okay. First of all, Kent, if you're going to describe her uh, her periscope, you're, you're going to have to show your hands because we're not we're not doing that on the show. Oh, okay, right, right. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, I was just going through social media to see who just like retweeted me or or who just shared the uh, the, the latest ritual misery Facebook post or whatever. And the first thing that, that comes up when I open up Facebook was Tay Allen is periscoping or something like that. And I was like, oh, God, what is she doing? So I go <laughs> to it. And actually, it was really cool because the first thing that she says or one of the first things she says is, hey, I'm about to do the Ritual Misery podcast. So I was like, yay, free advertisement. Yeah. So she starts doing Zumba <laughs> after uh, tech fail and then like another tech fail. <laughs> <laughs> so then, <laughs> I, I, I see a trend. 
yeah. yeah. So then Why she am has... I a fucking viral sensation? It is the worst thing that could <laughs> But I she can't. fails in the cutest way. <laughs> So, so she she's dancing in her pajamas, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wouldn't say it's the worst dancing that I've ever seen. But I don't know if I'd say it was the best either. Whoa, was... what a scathing <laughs> review. Like, like she thought I was mean with the stuff that I was saying. And, and uh, you know, you, you're, you're in here like cutting her down on her dancing skills, man. I, I would like to see you Periscope dance sometime. Uh, yeah, yeah, now that would be... That would be I thought that that was very, very kind of Kent to say. <laughs> I am elated. <laughs> because I definitely thought I was the worst white girl dancer. <laughs> I try really hard, and I'm still in those pajamas. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> but, um, that, she, that was really so sweet. She, she's all comfort from the waist down and all business from the waist up. That's how, that, that's how Tay rolls on the podcast. <laughs> I counted, I, counted, I counted three times during the Periscope that she mentioned the Ritual Misery podcast. So I was like, yay, yay, yay. But then, but my favorite part of the whole stream was about the last 15 to 20 seconds where she was trying to figure out how to end the stream. <laughs> oh my that God. Was- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that went on for a really long time and I was so nervous because I, I kept pushing the screen to make <laughs> At least there's nothing on the other side of the camera that you didn't want shown. <laughs> Just my dirty ass kitchen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> everybody's got one of those. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely do. Oh man, so uh, yeah, it, was, it was so much fun. No, right, so, it's, this so, is awesome, and I love y'all's name. I think Ritual of Misery is genius and fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> well, it, it started out as the name of a metal band. I was gonna say well, you should make a song called Ritual Misery and just groan. <laughs> and, and have you sing it. <laughs> oh, I would love to. The, I'll practice. The, I know my voice is a little high to dis well maybe actually to display misery, if I even made it higher, uh, that could be like true misery. Oh, like, ah, ah, oh yes. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> oh so so the Ritual Ritual's next hit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, or one. Yeah, the uh, does awkward metal. Yeah, oh, awkward Wait. metal. It's the next phase of the Tay Allen experience. <laughs> I, I was thinking awk rock, but awkward metal or like octal. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Meta. Ma- we'll ma- ma- maybe chat room can do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it, get on it, sick them. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, so, <laughs> so the ritual of the misery name is actually ripped out of a out of out of a Metallica song. Out of the Master of Puppets, and so we named our our high school band that, and it just kind of stuck. So everything we've ever done that's been creative in any, any way, shape, or form has been ritual misery something. So when we went to do a podcast, it was like, well, what are we gonna call it? And Kent was like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh-huh. like you already know. <laughs> that's awesome. So oh, I love that. isn't that cool when you are doing things now, like all of us being later in life. But you look back and you had that start younger and it kind of comes full circle. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I've been really vibing on that lately, like doing soul searching and stuff or like y'all like getting started with this. Um, it's incredible. Like before we got jobs and we're inundated with social media because all of us are older, you know, we're not 13. Um, like that You're we kind of knew. Whoa. No, guys, I'm not. I'm legal. Yay! Super score. <laughs> Ask YouTube. I'm 54. Um, oh God. Fine. Fine. Um, yeah. You look really Let's good for 54. Hey, yeah. She, she's not 54. She's 13 for like the 30th time. <laughs> I don't know math. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man so so uh uh yeah, yeah my train of thought was completely derailed by the whole imagery of her being 54 and <laughs> like i know sorry that, that that that's enough to screw a person up <laughs> no am i supposed to be watching the ch- some kind of chat room i'm not gonna lie i can't really figure this out 
Uh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the, Tay, the easiest way is to go to ritualmisery.com slash live. And, and it's okay, all right there. You don't... And it's not us. And I've just been like, mm. okay. Oh, because it's yeah, probably a different oh. channel. Yeah. <clears throat> if I knew that you're already there, I, I could have told you where to click it. <laughs> um, guys, like, if I get there by the end of this, it's we're a win, a -okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> No oh assistance. man! <laughs> so, so Amos, did you find time to do something geeky this week? Um, uh, uh, I I, I published a new podcast. Like I I actually published oh, two episodes of a brand right. new podcast. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. It, though Un undaunted, undaunted. I, I listened. Yeah. I listened to both both of the episodes. They're they're really cool. Yeah. If you're interested in doing a podcast, I highly recommend downloading undaunted yeah it's really good um so every time tay adjusts oh. her camera to be more in frame it looks like your boobs are attacking the camera like they're they're <laughs> surging up towards the camera it's really? yeah it's, oh. <laughs> like like her face is just kind of like like there and then like her boobs are just coming up towards the camera and then it like settles down again oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm okay yeah oh so there's a delay because now i'm on the website but it's little uh, yeah, no, fuck this. I'm just gonna keep talking to you guys. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, for for what? Yeah, for what it's worth, you don't need to actually watch the video. You can just check the chat at the very bottom of the page. Um, but oh. if you if you want to if you want to read it, they're they're a little crazy in there. So, um, no, I, oh my god, I love it. So I want everyone in the chat. I want you to know that they were amazing and gave me incredible instructions, step-by-step -step details. We were meeting 10 minutes before to get this together and they are such pros and fabulous. And I am a total delinquent. That's all. Still in beta. <laughs> Hashtag Wait. still in beta. Hashtag still in beta. Oh my God. I love that. I love yeah. that. Hey, boom. You can go to ritualmisery.com slash swag and buy shirts and coffee cups that say that. <laughs> yeah, we, we we embrace like you embrace awkwardness. We embrace beta. Like, we <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. See, see, right there, like that, yes. just like that, right there. It's just. So now I'm just doing it for fun. Ah, uh, there you go, chat realm. There, there's your uh, your your boob shot for the night. Hi. You're welcome. <clears throat> You're welcome, um, chat realm. Uh, I, I want to hear more though. I, I didn't mean to cut you off about your podcast. So what what is it about? I haven't listened yet. Um, so, uh, so it's, it's basically, I, I don't want to say interview. I have conversations with different podcasters from pretty much anywhere, you know, any, any podcaster, if you have a podcast, you're more than welcome to come on. And we oh, just, cool. we just talk about, uh, the good stuff, the bad stuff, where you, where things have gone right, where they've gone wrong and kind of the each individual story of, of how and why they podcast. Awesome. It, it started great. because a lot of, a lot of shows about podcasting are trying to sell you something or trying to get you to subscribe to a service or, you know, Hey, I'm going to teach you a little bit. And then if you want to learn more, pay me here. And I was like, no, that's, oh, yeah. that's stupid. Okay. Yes. We have something to discuss. <laughs> oh, I hate internet marketing. I cannot stand it. And I know I should be trying to sell shit. And that's what every doofus tells me. But like, I, I just completely agree with you, Amos. How, empty and like skeezy and scammy is it to show someone like a 20 minute video it no offense this is how i feel about ted talks where they're just posing a bunch of questions and no one really says anything and then once you're finally engaged it's like well for 49.95 like i can't fucking teach you how to go viral i made a song about a text message i'm not gonna charge you 18 dollars like no yeah Let's be friends, and I guess maybe at some point I'll get a manager and a giant record deal and like become a billionaire, or not. But <laughs> yeah, I, I just I think it's so empty. I, I love that you are against that. Yeah, I it's a. I, I like to tell people that I, I'm I'm doing the podcast in order to forward the art of podcasting, not to make a bunch of sales. Because I've already had, a, a, and Kent, I haven't even told you about this. I've had a couple offers like, "Hey, if you want to do this, you know, we can we can work on this program, and we can do this, and we can do that." And I'm like, mm, "No, yeah, no, yeah. I've, I've, you know, it's it's just not what the podcast is about. It'd be really shitty to have a podcast about podcasting without the commercial aspects of it, and then sell out by having a, a sponsor, even if they're going to pay me like twenty bucks an episode or whatever." 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, we Zero all make value. money really difficult, but I am so committed. Well, as you all know, I'm not a big fan of YouTube. I'm sort of an anti-YouTuber in a sense because the monetization and bullshit that I go through on a daily basis there. Like, Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, you don't like having to have like 30 million views before they pay you 42 cents? <laughs> I mean, come I, on. How How is that not a benefit? <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if someone subscribed to my channel, I knew anything about them or had any way to contact them? Like, when I sign up for Time Warner, there's 1-800-TIME-WARNER when things go wrong. I may be on hold, but I can call them. Where's 1-800-GOOGLE? Yeah. Like, yeah. okay, they subscribe. Where, where's you guaranteeing me that because someone subscribed, when I put up a video, it's going to show up on their news feed. That's the nope. part. That's the part that I don't like about it is that I subscribe to people, and I have like I've got probably twenty five subscriptions of, of high quality content that I really mm-hmm. enjoy watching. But then if I'm on the uh, Google or the uh, YouTube homepage, there's a small stream of like four videos that might be, you know, people that have videos that I've seen before of the people that I've subscribed. But there's no yeah. like master feed. Like I just want to be able to see the shit that I've subscribed to, and then I go to my TV and either on the Amazon uh, the Fire Stick or the Apple TV or whatever else, I want to go on there and just hit my subscription and just roll with it. No, no, I can do it one one person at a time. I watch their specific individual episodes, but I just want to just hit it and just let it play so I can vacuum and watch the the YouTube's. You know, no, they're yeah. like it's why is that not a thing? You can create a playlist. Right, you can create a playlist yeah. of the videos yeah. that are there, so then I get to curate my own playlist. The video is not supported, or like one of the videos gets taken down for some reason, and your yep. whole playlist now just has like a bunch yep. of black spots. I yeah. don't know. Or I, or you're sitting over. My Rooster Teeth story. Have you heard that? Mm-mm. Oh, this is good. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait. Um, Yes, as and as everyone knows, I'm like totally transparent about everything. I post my twenty dollar earning reports from full screen, and I honestly, especially because I do have some younger fans, um, feel such a huge sense of responsibility to be really open about this YouTube scam because a lot of these younger kids, you hear them, you know, going to these Rooster Teeth conventions or what have you, and they're sitting in the audience and they're literally thinking, or they'll write to me and they'll say. I'm not going to graduate high school. I'm not going to college because I want to be a YouTuber. And we we know the power of that. We know how impressionable, you know, younger people are. So I go to the Rooster Teeth because it's in Austin, like the 80,000, their RTX giant thing. And I go, first of all, should have been speaking at it. Let's put out that out there. Whatever. Um... <laughs> And I go into one of these panels of this guy who has, and I don't judge subscriber rates at all, but like a, a low amount of subscribers and probably does not have the knowledge to be discussing this. And um, he uh, he's up there and he's just like, yeah, like it's fantastic. And, you know, a million views, you'll get a hundred thousand dollars and like throwing up these crazy figures. I see stand up in the middle of the thing and like I'm like the only chick at this and I'm just like excuse me my name is Tay Allen and I would like to let you know that on four million views I have made twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> and he literally so okay so they're they're filming all these oh I should find it I should find it they're, they're filming all of them because they were live broadcasting all of these and he he literally he's like cut the cameras cut the cameras and I'm like, why should you cut the cameras? People need to know the truth. And he's like, well, we're not allowed to talk about specific YouTube figures. Like something in your YouTube user agreement, in the contract, it says you're not allowed to talk about the money. And I was like, excuse me? I would love for you to show me, little man, where it says that in my YouTube agreement. Like, why is it this mystery? Like, oh, we are not allowed to know how much money we make. And it's all this algorithm. Like, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm a businesswoman. Get on my level, YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, as far as this podcast go, goes, we just released or we just made a, a plan for the next year. And as far as what we want to do and how we want to get to it. And uh, at, at the behest, at the uh, the recommendation of Brian Brushwood, in fact, 
And oh. um, I went ahead and took that spreadsheet and shared it in a Facebook group and have shared it with Brian and stuff like that. And we've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. But yeah, we're completely, as far as this podcast goes, we're completely open and honest about you know what we're making and what we're not making, what we're spending and everything else. It's, we're not trying to hide anything. We just, we want to make a podcast that people enjoy. And you know if we, if we end up making, making a living off of it, by all means, I'm not going to stop that. But in the meantime, yeah. I'm not, you know, it's it's not a, a necessarily a true business that we're trying to run either. So it's kind of this hybrid hobbyist slash. But it's a shame. You guys should be able to have a business from this. And that is part of the reason that I came to Austin. Like besides, you know, Goofy, like, you know, my people here, Brian and all that, like on a more serious level, since we're talking about this, like there are a lot of tech entrepreneurs here. And when I'm not you know, making crazy pop music videos and being a psycho, I go to all of these, you know, networking events, visionary councils, like I'm really involved with Capital Factory here. And literally going around, like I stand up, I'm like, hey, like, I've got a very popular YouTube channel. I'm really interested in how digital media is evolving. Like we need to create a new platform. Because Mm -hmm. like, this is my issue with this, this and this, trying to find like minded people because like I feel like it's up to us. Like I'm just so disgusted how there really are no outlets for us. There's no way to make money in music. Um, everyone's probably gonna rip this podcast except the couple people who are fans and maybe are Patreoning or whatever. But no one's gonna buy it on iTunes. You know, like there's no one does it that with anything. No mm-hmm. one buys my songs. I have like thirty thousand Spotify streams. I've made two dollars. <laughs> so we really, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, it, it's kind of up to us to change things. So if you guys hear about anything, you know, as you're working on this, I want to help support you. And really for the people trying to be artists out there, find something to elevate us. Mm. Yeah, that's one yeah, thing I, One thing that me and Ken are always talking about are, are, are different ways of not only supporting the Diamond Club community, but, you know, advancing this podcast and, and just, mm-hmm. do, just doing random stuff to, to get noticed and and fulfill and make it so other people can see, Hey, you know, we're just two schmucks with some webcams and a couple of cameras, you know, and, and really fucked up sense of the humor. So if we can do it, you know, <laughs> what were you going to say? Ken? Yeah. No, I was just going to say that, that services like Patreon are, are really good for this because you're not selling anything per se. You're just putting a, a means out there for people to, give money, like basically a donation to the artists that they want to support, whether it's a podcaster or a musician or what have you, you just throw your Patreon out there and it's amazing how many people will just kind of flock to people that they like. Um, Justin Robert Young, for example, he quit his real job because Patreon, uh, Mm -hmm. among other things, but Patreon is one of the, the major things that kind of put him over the edge of being able to support himself as an independent and not just Patreon, but other platforms that are similar to that and allow, allow the fans to directly support the artists that they enjoy. Um, I think that's kind of the, the future of what you're talking about. It's going to be crowdfunding, crowdsourced projects and things like that. Now this also does come from Kent, the uh, biggest fan of Kickstarter in the world. So Uh, yeah, (laughs) I love Kickstarter. Are you being sarcastic? No, he, he, no, no, he no, no, does. No, no. I, I, okay. I'm a, I'm a huge <laughs> fan. I'm a, no, I'm a huge fan of, of crowdsourcing and hmm. crowdfunding and all that. It, yep. it works. If, if you learn, I mean, there's a, there's a trick to it, of course. You have to learn how to leverage it. Um, Ritual Misery Podcast has not yet found that trick. Um, <laughs> no, we have well, not. Now you're going to have my screeching soundtrack that I'm going to say. <laughs> we'll have something. That start- might set us over the edge. <laughs> we're going to start making. We're going to start making that, money. That's the thing, Kent. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can just I can just hear this like like this like uh, almost like an evanescent sound where it's got like this nice mel- melody to it and going and, and then just out of nowhere just just this this screeching moaning dying cat version of Tay just just <sighs> killing it you know <laughs> I love it like this I is you. this is you're in, in your mind you're like this is totally going somewhere this is totally going somewhere oh my god where did it go <laughs> and awkward metal is born. yeah. We really, we got to work on awkward metal. Uh, so, uh, yes, this has kind of been like under wraps. I have super Tay projects working, but I also have this alter ego that I'm creating called Tate, 
where I want to do like this, just like Evanescence, very creepy Evanescence, like Chick Lincoln Park, because that's what I actually listen to. I don't really like pop music. It's a conundrum. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but I love like alt rock, like, oh my God, like Lincoln Park was all I was listening to. I was not listening to Britney during that time. Give me some corn. Like th- those were my people, but this is what I sound like. So I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you're saying is your vocal register isn't necessarily where you want it to be for the music that you prefer to put out there. Well, like I've become so numb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's so amazing. <laughs> like, It's, it, but yeah, you know, the band would have to make some adjustments. <laughs> a little, a little. Like, just, just get rid just of the, minor yeah, time. get rid of the bass guitar completely because there's no need. <laughs> maybe we need extra because, it, like, really, really needs to be balanced out. Oh, someone in the chat said, I'm crying so beautiful. Oh, see, I'm people... not going to see what comes next. I'm just going to pretend that's where it stops. <laughs> And this is how Tay protects herself. <laughs> the world of Tay. <laughs> oh, <guys> man. <laughs> so really, what, what, uh, what are you working on now? I mean, I, I know you've got some things under wraps that you can't, uh, can't really talk about. What, but what can you talk about? You can talk about it. Tell me what you think is a good idea at this point, honestly. I kind of, yeah. Okay, so one of my things is, I just bought a bunch of fancy new equipment, which is fun. Like, I tried to use that light, and oh, my God, the top camera. I was about to show you my mic, and the top is not on. I'm sitting in my bed. How did that happen? Like, literally, this was one piece before this podcast started. Why is it in two? Oh, my God. And the trend continues. Like, this uh, is why it's hard for me to get content out, guys. I'm trying to do that on a regular basis. But I'm just so fucked. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So, so, so you, you basically, you need, you, need a, you, need a, you, you need your own personal Neshcom is what you need. Someone to sit there and just do all the techie stuff for you and figure it out and make it happen. Or, like, follow me around with a camera. I'll give you lots of rewards. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, actually, I actually do. I have I have a couple things that are dorky. Okay, so yeah, tell me what you think is a good idea. Oh, full show. Um, I'm not gonna do that ever again. <laughs> that, that, that might not be a, the best starter for a uh, for a story. <laughs> I'm like on the verge of tears. Uh, <laughs> so virtual mystery. Um, yeah. So I am making a song called Wild Card. Off of Sergeant Muffin's amazing slot machine. Mm. Uh, as you guys know, I'm close with Tom, Jury Facts, and he edits all my stuff. And we, I like, he sent me that and I was like, oh my God. And I, something about being on a slot machine was like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me, more than Mass Tech. Like, I, I'm so honored. <laughs> so, damn. Uh, yeah, that was amazing. That's high and praise, make- Sergeant Muffin. Oh, my Muffin, such high praise. And it makes me the wild card. Like, again, I grew up literally trailer Taylor, this, like, dorkosaurus with headgear. And for me to be, like, the wild card, just, like, the journey. I was just so proud. And that meant so much to me. So I'm going to make a song called Wild Card. And, uh, yes, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we've already started writing gloriously awkward lyrics. And that is going to be super fun. And I'm thinking I'll debut it at South by So Wasted. Nice. Um, so that's really oh, fun. Perfect. Maybe, yeah. like, we could release, like, the chorus or something before. So, like, everyone in the crowd can sing or, like, flash wild cards and I'll flash myself. Something fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> You'll flash your own card or you're just going to flash? Because, I mean, it... Two different connotations might draw a different crowd. <laughs> I was gonna flash, honestly, but I figured you all could have a card. Oh, it would, it would be really great if you. Okay, so so follow me here. If you were gonna flash, but what you had was pasties of the cards that other people were holding. So when you flashed, it was actually just like boob with pasties on the nipples. Ooh. So it'd be like it's like you were doing both. You'd be doing both at the same time. 
Yes. Now, <laughs> Kent, Kent's I about to lose it. Kent's gonna. Kent's just gonna die right here. <laughs> My question is: Is it is it too much like copying Lady Gaga, and is it more Tay to have forgotten to put those on and to just do a real flash? That's my God. Oh, you you, you could, go could wrong. It'll you, go wrong. You could go so. a total hybrid and like have one on. See, we're discussing these things, but these should be insider secrets. Chat room, don't tell anybody if we do this. So you oh put God, you put that. one you put one on your nipple, and then on the other one you put it backwards. So when you close your shirt, it's like on the it sticks to the shirt instead. Oh, so then you please. break it open wide, <laughs> and then one side's got like a pasty, and the other side's just got a sticker on the shirt with just a boob hanging out. <laughs> yes. yes. Now, do I want to go for a you know boob? Is that like hot? Just having like this like one breast and then like one nipple thing. Like, is, uh, is that cute? I don't know. You're I, the straight I, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single, so I've been doing something wrong. <laughs> uh, or, or doing something right. There's there's something to be said for that. Um, uh, mostly because guys are shitty. Anyway. Um, Guys are shitty. Guys, guys, my age are shitty. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag, bring the pole is trending in chat room. Bring the. (laughs) Oh, oh, tasties, tas. Oh, like the tassels. Tassels, tassels. Yes. Oh. Oh. That was a real reaction. Oh my god. I need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> I need a beer, but I'm not allowed to drink right now. This is bullshit. Um, assuredly, you bet. assuredly, so I need a beer. Um, that uh. is okay. This is amazing. So everything that's great, honestly, comes from chat realm. Yeah, it's just true. I love you guys so fucking much. You are the only people I can be myself with. Seriously, like even my friends here, friends in Austin. Um, I, I always feel myself when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So there's something weird about all of us that has brought us together, and I love it. Well, I, yeah. I, I, I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to take this opportunity to extend a perpetual and inevitably cashed in uh, offer for you to come on the show anytime you like for any reason for anything in any, any amount of time because this has been amazing. Um, and we're not even done yet. And I'm, I just fuck it. Like, if you ever want to come back on the RMP, just if you just want to sit and, and look at Chat Realm while we go, whatever, I don't care. Just let us know. We'll give you a call and it'll, we'll make it happen. Because holy well, no, shit, the best, the best thing. No, the best thing that can happen because we gave this open invite and we're sincere about it. The next time we have like a super high profile celebrity on the show, she calls in and we are <laughs> obligated to answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right yes in the middle, like a serious a yes. serious answer to a serious question yes Th- there it is there it is hey, what's up, guys? there it is there it is for, for this this is this is if we are ever broadcasting if we if we are ever broadcasting tay you call in and we will immediately put you on the air regardless of what's going on or who's on period oh my god so awesome. I was I was thinking about that where I was like, this is so fun. I want to do this more. So I will definitely take y'all up on that. Now, Kent, just for you, because I can dun. only get better than not the worst, I may call in and just be Zumba-ing. Oh, the, hey, we'll air it. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be in pajama pants. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's like a thing. <laughs> wrong with me as like a woman like why did i not put on cute yoga pants like, i just why was it, like, i just saw the one was it uh yesterday or whatever where you uh, you had on your uh, on your twitter feed where you you were dancing or whatever and you like you did this bend over thing and whoever was taking the video was like oh shit they're see-through <laughs> i know i was with my parents too i was with my parents wearing see-through clever pants <laughs> oh my gosh that was hilarious Oh, that had God. me rolling. That was like, like that was like the highlight of my work day that day. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was funny. So, you you'll like this, Tay. Um, okay. Yesterday or the day before, uh, I was talking to my girlfriend about the show, this show that we're doing right now. And so she, meta. She doesn't. She doesn't know. She doesn't know you. Like she's not familiar with you. So she was asking me to describe you, and oh. I turned into a fucking old man. And the only the only word that came to my mind was squirrely. 
squirrely. <laughs> like, oh. I, I'm not even sure how that's supposed to be taken. <laughs> I'm not either. Where is that actually like used? <laughs> I was like, well, she's she's kind of well squirrely. <laughs> That is, that is awesome. Oh I, man! You can call me squirrely anytime. So you know what's gonna be, you know what's gonna be really great about this episode is Kent is delayed by like, by like at least two seconds on the video. So his audio is fine, but for whatever reason his video is delayed by like two full seconds. So every time he breaks out in laughter, or whatever else, like he's still talking while he's while the sound is going off, and then as he stops talking, it shows him rearing up in laughter. It's amazing. I'm That's preparing awesome. okay, for my. Guys, there's a poll that has come up in this oh, chat. Oh, Jerry Fax threw a straw poll out there. Yes, oh, I'm so excited. I've never done one of these before. God, I'm so bad at the internet. So <laughs> I'm guessing I click it. Pasty, pasties, double complete boobs. What's poll pot? <laughs> I guess chat room. <laughs> Am I supposed to know what that is? Um, no, no. So Can't... go ahead, Kent. <laughs> No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I, just, I just can't right now. He's a mass murder dictator. Yeah. Oh, okay. So obviously we should choose that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Where's this, where's this straw pot? I'm double complete boobs just because I know everyone else is going to go with Pol Pot. Just so in the res- <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, I knew it. I'm, I, now I can screen grab just those two next to each other, which is what I wanted. I knew those would be the only ones chosen. That is amazing. <laughs> I will Instagram this. That's oh, awesome. That's great, Sun. Sunburn says it's finally come to the point where we have to explain Pol Pot to Tay Allen. <laughs> is that has that like what we've all been waiting for for the last two years, right? <laughs> Everything just oh, gets amazing when Taylor is, is around. Oh, it that's just really, really sweet. does. Well, I'm just so lucky to be part of Chat Room, honestly. Like, I looked at it from an outsider for a while and I was like, this is so cool. And I still don't know if I'm even totally part of it, but I'm kind of like forcing myself. I'm trying really hard um, because everyone is just hilarious and amazing. Oh, and Dragon Con. Dragon Con was so fun. That's where I really, for the first time, was like, okay, I'm going to start learning. Oh, okay. I almost spilled the beans on something. Um. Anyway, Dragon Con was really fun, and I got to meet everyone in person, so it was really cool. <laughs> but I, I may also have, like, an uber, like, so intense, you can't even imagine, surprise for Chat Realm that I've been sitting on, and it will come out at the right time. See? Yeah, I thought we were just waiting for January to happen before The Secret came out, uh. and here it is, January, and... And, and, and where's the secret? I don't know. See, well, so can, can, can you at least tell us how long we have to wait? I mean, well, we can talk about this. So it's finished and I've just been waiting for the right time. You know what? I should release it in a time when chat realm is down and you guys can like help wait, me. Wait, know. wait, wait. When, when chat realm is down? Not, not like down as in like not technically working. That's my job. But like <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe like the guy's aren't putting out as much content or Brian's shooting some dance shows. So he misses a week <laughs> or just like everyone like has a tough week at work, you know, like something like that where like, like the content is sort of in a droll and we need to pick me up. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I, I don't even know when that would be. I know. That's but just like not during a super exciting time because this is really exciting. So it's like an upper. <laughs> Hey, I don't know if you saw in the chat, <clears throat> Jury, Jury Facts said, watch your mouth, Tay. <laughs> hey, no, slap me, Tom. Slap me. <laughs> 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 All right, so, so a follow-up to the squirrely comment. <laughs> fast, fast forward to today when I was doing the, the day of advertising for the show, and mm-hmm. I decided, oh, I'm going to put a, a picture of Tay on this one. So I went out to Google and grabbed a picture of you and put it on the Facebook ad, or did I do it to the Twitter? Uh, I don't Facebook. Remember. Yeah, and yeah, 
I know. I saw that. I was like, ooh, what did he find? So, <laughs> so after, I posted it, after I posted it, it took about 20 seconds for me to get a text from my girlfriend that said, you didn't tell me she was hot. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her. She's hot too. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Oh, yay. There, there is a possibility she'll be coming to South by So Wasted, so wasted with us. Yeah, we okay. have to convince her because she's kind of on the fence about it. Oh. So we got to... Well, now, just let her know that I say things. So if I grab you two and I'm like, guys, let's have a sandwich picture or something. Like, don't, you know, she, she shouldn't freak out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, she'd be down for that. Okay. Uh, for the oh. picture or for the sandwich? Because just <laughs> saying there's <laughs> unlimited <laughs> possibilities running through my mind right now. <laughs> uh, you never know. <clears throat> South by Southwest, you never know. These yeah, are the just, these are the times that remind good. me that I'm happily married. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, also, and I've said this a couple times, but on different things, I am totally going to have a party for chat realm at my house and host y'all and have everyone over. And it's closed. It's like a ten dollar Uber from downtown Austin. Um, so whoever can make it out, I know y'all are trying to figure that out. You're on the fence, but now, now yeah. is, is is this in South Austin? Um, where I live? Yeah. Mm, like, like, like south, south, south of Sixth. No, I don't. I, I'm not trying to get like the address, but is it south of Sixth Street? Because the 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 the, the trailer, well, my, my travel trailer, we're going to be parking it at an RV that's south of uh, Sixth Street at an RV oh, park. Oh. So, yes. I'm just wondering if it's going to be further or closer to where we're eventually going to have to fall down and crash. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, that's a win. That is a win. <laughs> so it's a ten dollar Uber from downtown. It's going to be a five dollar Uber back to the trailer. <laughs> exactly, right. exactly. And um, I have a lot of cool things. I'll get us a keg, and I have a kiddie pool that I stole from a local grocery store, and a cat. <laughs> Amazing. So, so are the kiddie pool and the cat like available for entertainment purposes? Because. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> in the kiddie pool and watch all of you creepily does that depend on how uh, how south by so wasted goes <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's, so yeah true. it's probably absolutely gonna depend on that uh, so uh so so kent and i reached out uh well okay so i reached out in the name of me and kent to uh to brian and justin we want to get a uh, we want to get like a special event going on with South by So Wasted, doing some some interviews before after some streaming of the show and all that other stuff. So they're supposed to be discussing it this weekend because they got like a little uh, bro date in Oakland. So uh, hopefully we'll they'll come out of that with some uh, some details and some ideas and and we'll be able to get some things going. I think that would be That's amazing. Awesome. That would be so great. Yes, we should do all of that. Also, Mech just put up a gift. In this chat, which is like, I'm doing, I, I, I always have my hands to my head. Why? It is like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I don't know if I can open it. It's from when I was sitting next to Brian and I surprised him at his house before he knew that I lived in Austin. Me and Bonnie like set it all up secretly. And oh my God, <laughs> Beck, if you can email that to me at tayallen at hotmail.com because I don't know how to save it. <laughs> 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 It's amazing. It's like that, that thing has summed me up more. But Mech is the shit. I say this all the time. Mech gets me. He may not want to, but he does. Oh man, awesome. that's classic. Awesome. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see, I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm end up screwing this up by trying to post this in here. So we'll see if we can if I can get this thing to work out. And, and no, it's not gonna work out. Okay, so screw it. <laughs> I was going to try to show it in there. But basically, you, you, you've seen it about 15 times every time Matea has put her hands to her head. <laughs> yep. Oh, um, man. Funny. You don't know what you do until someone blatantly calls you out. Thank you, Mac. Yeah. L luckily, me and Kent so far are not, uh, we are not memes as of yet. That's oh, that we well. know of. That we know of. <laughs> actually, there, there, was, there was a meme of me going around actually for a little bit. I don't even think you know about this, Amos. Uh-oh. When I lived in Germany, I used to host a quiz night, like a pub quiz kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was it was a once a, once a month thing, and did you have to stay sober for it? No, God no. <laughs> okay, God, okay. No. I was gonna I, I was gonna call you on bullshit real quick. 
Yeah, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, I, I hosted this quiz night, and I just I've got this knack for just dumb shit. Like I can't remember things that matter, but you know, ask me this particular obscure Star Wars character's name, and I'll I'll you know I'll I'll come right out with it. Uh, so I, I was really good at the quizzes. So I, it got to the point where I was handing off the quiz like every other month. Like I would host and then I would let somebody else do it the next month and then whatever. So I would be a participant in the quiz. And I was like, I would say 90% of the time I was on the winning team because I just, I'm just good at dumbass trivia. No, well, there was a not, a, not boasting or anything here. You know. No, uh, no, 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 no. It's just, it's the setup. It's the setup for the meme. So, this one host, Russ, who actually ended up taking over the, the quiz night when I left Germany, mm-hmm. he would make questions that were purposely made to stump me. And he would call them Kent questions. And he, had a, he made a whole meme of it. And there was a bunch of uh, you know, pictures floating around Facebook and stuff that was talking about. It was supposed to be a Kent question and like people crying and stuff like that. <laughs> That's so. awesome. Okay, so what's one of like, the craziest questions that they asked you? Holy yeah, crap. Yeah, yeah. A, Mo- oh. movie, movie man Lucas in the chat room wants proof. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm with him on this one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Get with me in the post. Oh, that, 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 that <laughs> that, that's the intro to the first Tay single on the R&P soundtrack. <laughs> that Wait, so oh, this is going to be so amazingly awesome. <laughs> Yeah, chat room saying is proofers BS. Yeah, <laughs> plays into to this week's night attack. That, that's that's not what we need to for for chat room to start calling us on our bullshit, man. This is that's going to change this whole show. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. In show, I will try to find a Kent meme. Oh, so good, so good. Thanks for calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so um. So I had a great idea that that may or may not turn out as great as I imagined it. So you recently, uh, you and Jury Facts, you guys got together and you released some videos, uh, which is to say you recorded them and, and left him the hours upon hours of, of editing. <laughs> knows I love him, but if there was anything positive on his end, he has in those hours and hours of editing so many just long drawn out minutes of me being like (laughs) like doing nothing and then doing take after take after take and being like fuck you tay that sucked like like really really creepy behind the scenes stuff so maybe that made up for all of his help all right so uh so jury facts where's the outtakes we we need outtakes (laughs) Jury facts. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I I got I, I me and Tom become really good friends Something for all this. Like has I got to my stream. My head. Like I picked my nose on camera. I'll like get up and leave, and like my cat gets on the screen. And I used to edit that out, and then I was just like, "Fuck it, send, send." Mm. <laughs> just like, oh, we lost him. He, we did. Kent dropped off because he's oh, no. he sucks at life. I, I'm back now, apparently. Okay. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I got logged off of um, Chat Realm as well. That was weird. See? Still in beta. Yep. Yeah. Still in beta. Hashtag so, still in beta. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So much so, better. Right. Now, so, now I can get back to my task of, of scouring Facebook for this guy. That's what it was. The internet's trying to shut you down because even the internet knows <laughs> you're bullshitting. Oh. Mech, if you're watching while he's doing that, send me this GIF. I'm trying to download it, and I still can't. Please do it, Mech. Please. Hey, Alan at Hotmail.com. Okay. Also, if you want to get on my mailing list. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I thought it would be a great idea uh, to, to kind of take away from that a little bit. And you have... <laughs> Mech says Hotmail? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, it happens. It happens. Um, I figured it'd be a great idea to go through. And and I noticed that you've got a few followers on on Twitter. 
I mean, you know, yeah. it's not it's not like it's not like a lot. It's only like eighty thousand, you know, eighty thousand times more than I have. But you know, it, it's it's okay. I mean, you got a, you got a pretty good following. I thought it'd be a yeah. great idea to go through and find some of your followers' random tweets. Okay. And see if you can put them in context for us. Okay, so what do you like? Go to my homepage who I'm following. So, so no, no, no. People, people that are following you. I'm going to read a tweet, and then let you tell us the story behind the tweet. Oh, okay, sure. All right. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Hey, my rainbow is gone when you are not in my arms. So please come back to like. I am tired of the dark. I need my rainbow. Love you lots. And this is not to me. This is something they posted. This is something one of your followers posted on their wall, okay. completely okay, unrelated perfect. to you. I got it now. Okay, so so yes, because they are as far one as you know. of my haters. We are all in the awk, and I understand them. So so, so if taters is that, supposed to be the the Tay haters, would a tater hater be a person who hates people who hate Tay? Is that was the would that have been the intent? But now that's reversed as well. So a tater hater would be someone who hates people that follow Tay. Like, uh, it's so meta and, and so, like, recursive. I'm confused. I think either way, it's a win for you, though. It's so meta. Thank you for saying that. Clean my room is obvious. What's your sign? These are very meta projects, and very few people understand it. So, yes, it, it's convoluted at best. Um, but that tweet, okay, that Boo Bear, that, that fan, he is 12-year-old. He's gay. He lives in Atlanta, and he just found out what a wig is, and he's talking to his mom, and he's like, Mom, I know that I'm getting a little trans right now, but I just want you to know, like, I need that rainbow. Okay. Um, I, I actually can't argue that. Oh! Because, uh, like, the, the name is one thing, the the username is another thing, and the picture is a bit ambiguous. <laughs> do I know my fans? Or do I know my fans? I love you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I don't, I, I don't know. Can't should I just go ahead and name who it is? I'm afraid of of, of pissing somebody off. Uh, mm, okay, do it. Okay, that would be uh, at Clay underscore Yolasku. <laughs> but the, but the name is Yolanda Gary Garielli. Oh my god! I can't believe I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this, and everyone watching, we did not plan this. No, no, no. And, and, and if and if we are wrong, then by all means, don't hate us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, I, I thought this was interesting. This is a uh, uh, Takaya Mo Moselle. Okay. Takaya Moselle has 734 people that they are following. Okay. And they have eight followers. Aw, honey, but, well, I'll follow you but, back to Kai. But they have never posted. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tay, so, Tay, tell, yeah, tell, 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 explain this to us. <laughs> Give, put this in context for us. <laughs> okay, no, I know exactly who this is. Oh, my God, I know my fans too well. So, Takaya Manzel is really insecure right now. They're really scared. They want to start becoming part of this world, and they have people that they want to follow. They want to feel involved, but they're really nervous to put themselves out there. All right. I, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. I think this is a little little insight into the mind of Tay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So they, they joined back in uh, December 2012, and... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a uh, strong, sophisticated, and sarcastic Southern Belle. Uh, but no tweets. Uh, sure. It, I, I don't. I, I, this would be the first time. Okay, maybe this is a little bigoted on my part. Uh, this yeah. is the first time I've ever, because the, the the profile picture is is a black kid. So it'd be the first time <laughs> I've ever heard of a, a black kid referring to themselves as a Southern Belle. Well, I would say like Georgia. Yeah. Y like that, you know, in Atlanta, you've got those like amazing Southern women, Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. All right, so it is completely bigoted on my part. All right, I'm willing to accept that. Okay. Hey, we don't matter. No, I, I, I'm going to say <laughs> if you can be a Southern belle no matter what you look like, because 
again. I have some gay boys who probably call themselves the Southern Belle too. Somebody hey. click on that link and see if that even opens. Because th this is not what I was looking for, but this is this is a, a very good consolation prize, if anyone can see this. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you, you look like a total Vato, dude. Like, okay. Oh! All right, so... so oh! So, so chat room, you're just going to, have to put up with me here. I'm going to have to, for the for the for those that can't click the link immediately, I'm going to uh, uh, screw with the settings here to get this to show. Uh, <laughs> apparently, um, apparently everybody's being able to see it. I've got one more that I think probably trumps that one actually. Those locals kick your ass. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this to to work. Get you two put over here, and then see if I can get the. Uh, the thing over here. This is this is so. Uh, this is this massively, uh, massively professional of what we're doing right here. This is like it, it doesn't get more professional than than this. So so have fun with these two pictures, chat realm. Okay, let me see. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Hey there, Pee Wee Herman. So we, our group <laughs> in Germany, we would have a night like ev every. Like every week we would go out and get fucked up in the German pubs. And for a while we were doing like every Friday night would be like Vato night or, or nerd night or just whatever. They, we would come up with something different and everyone would dress in that manner. Holy crap. And yeah. These are, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> this is the result. Like your, your flies down. Super cute. Yes. Oh, I was, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I was dedicated to the role, man. Uh, apparently, or you just had your wing swinging. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wouldn't put either one of those past you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you would know I really? I know you that you like to dress up in costumes. You totally must all the time. Uh, My sister not to wear outfits, sir. Um, so, uh, movie man Lucas says you're just wearing your your clothes from high school. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Spoiler alert: Movie uh, Man Lucas is my son. I like how so. he's outing you on shit. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god! <clears throat> Holy crap! Okay, so um, I'll have to get back to you guys about the the meme because I'm not finding the folder that it's in. So. Oh well, that's okay. It gives us something to look forward to. You well, always want to tease them a little bit. Yeah. Well, at least I gave con two consolation prizes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I think you were given a consolation prize in that second picture, though, uh, with the open fly. <laughs> I love hey, it. Take, take it how you will. <laughs> okay, so, um, so, so our, our next, uh, our next uh, uh, tater thought is... <gasps> tater thought! <gasps> okay, is someone writing this down? Tom? <laughs> that, that, that was actually that was that was actually the name of the skit that I gave it last night when I'd been up for like twenty eight hours doing karaoke. So um, I love Tater Thoughts. That's so cute. I love it. We're like I can post fans Tater Thoughts. Oh my god, we're coming up with so much. It's so holy ha ha Hashtag Tater Thoughts. Anytime you repost <laughs> one of your followers' tweets, hashtag Tater Thoughts. <laughs> oh, you guys are so good. <laughs> 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 like how do we not have more followers kent um so I so know, this one right? is <laughs> thank you jesus for the internet praying hands so 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 why 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 was someone put someone posting uh thank you jesus for the internet with praying hands oh because they just saw a gif uh from common gay boy which is an amazing count to follow and it that gif was skittles falling out of their mom's purse and then their grandma slipping on them okay first of all i want to see this <laughs> if this has not happened yet, if this has not happened by all means i want make it happen <laughs> we can make it happen <laughs> oh my god uh, dr Payne put in the chat room tater thoughts with like t-h-o-t-s like the shortest oh. version of tater thought that you can have. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, no, she separated at birth twin. That is epic. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, so, so this is a uh, Malin Witherspoon at Malin W. So, 
So the, the, I, I don't I don't have any other details besides that. But uh, oh, okay, no, I, I, that that rings a bell. I know Malin. Malin's yeah. great. See, yeah. there you go. Hi, Malin. <laughs> sorry, sorry, gave out your handle. <laughs> don't sue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all all copyrights are respected to their per, their particular owners. But uh, uh, also, yeah. if you're going to sue this show, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll give you all of last year's profits. You got two dollars and seventy two cents, and you're ready for your, you know. Um, oh no, I th- I think we spent 50, around fifty or sixty dollars, and we made like twenty something. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty is fantastic. I'm still not at that on Spotify. Guys. <laughs> it's all thanks to Amazon and me <laughs> spending money on Amazon. Oh uh, man! Um, <laughs> one more for me. That was. This is really fun. Okay, so here we uh, here we have. This is actually a joke. You ready for this? All right, here we go. Okay. Leia is stranded on a planet and meets a local, Calgon. They come under attack, and she demands, "Calgon, take me away." That's it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yay. Are you? Are you? No, are that's you? that's that's actually by uh by our our very own Chout Realmer BioCal. Oh. <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> so 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 I'm guessing the Calgon take me away reference is where the, where it was lost. I thought it was pretty funny. I, I get it. I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Calgon take me away. It's yeah. Spoof of the Dixie Chicks. Cowboy, take me away. It's even better I'm now. Cowboy, take me away. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's what it was about. But that's now what it's. Well, about. It is now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this is this is amazing. <laughs> I, I've barely said a word because I can't fucking stop laughing long enough to form a thought. Oh, this is this is so enough. awesome. This is amazing. <laughs> <sighs> okay, try to compose myself here. <laughs> oh, do you, do you have another one, Amos? Do you have another one? Set up? Um, yeah, yeah. I've got uh, I've got uh, uh, two more, I think. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so this is a bit of a uh, this is this is another meta one. Um, I have here an individual that follows you, but every tweet that he tweets. And I have gone forever. Like I've scrolled down. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in like, like forever ago. Um, every one of them is a link to something he's selling. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So what, what is he selling? Yeah, I need an example of, of something uh, he's selling. So he's, he has offers between he needs graphic and web designers. Okay. To, uh, he has a creative and logo flyer business card developer program. Okay. But th- this is all he tweets, like everything he tweets. What's the verbiage in the link? Uh, like w- the, the link itself? It's just a link? Uh, well, it's like, like on this one right here, he says, need a website redesign or new website? And then there's no link. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you picked that one because he's following me. On that one, he is some guy in the Ukraine who is trying to sell his web services, only follows blonde girls, and is only jacking off to what's your sign. That's that's what that is. And he forgot the link. <laughs> that's that. Oh my and God. And done. It is gospel. Holy shit. Only that one and, <laughs> excuse me. Only that one and not Fifty Shades of Tay? Uh... Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> you're, you're the second guy to mention Fifty Shades of Tay today. I guess that's having a re- re- resurgence. Or re- yeah, resurgence. That's what I meant. Whoops. Um, okay, yeah. so so here's another one. It's it's another joke. This is okay. actually this is actually fairly popular. It's gotten forty or twenty yeah. twenty four retweets and twenty nine likes. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, says uh, I just got a plasma TV. Well, technically, it's a normal TV, except for I paid for it with blood. Happy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. a bad joke and a half right there. <laughs> did it end? 
And uh, I paid for it in blood. Was there something else? I it, laughed. It, 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 it just says happy Sunday. Happy <laughs> Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a oh. weird sense of humor. I love that. Um, okay, so they are the best. They should they should come on this show with us. Um, uh Okay, so so I'm I'm going to read you the very next tweet. His very next tweet. Oh uh, oh sure, it's okay as an advertisement, but I use it as a chat up as a pickup line. I get arrested. It's a picture that says penetration testing made easy, with a computer locked up. <laughs> okay, glad we had that quantifier. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kent, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I was kidding. Though, though um, I, might, I might find that one and retweet it, though. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I, I de- you got to tell me who this is. This, this is uh, 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 his, his username is uh, at Mr. Ben L. Hall. His name is Benjamin Hall. Okay, let me. I, I'm looking this up. Like this, is, we're real timing him because he's awesome. Let me see if I know him. Because even though there are a lot, obviously, like you know, love engagement and my people. Like I really do try the people whose names I see over and over, or who like always like on Instagram, or who I talk to on Twitter or retweet. I've like looked at y'all. I go. I read your 140. I see what you tweet. I totally creep you. Um, but but I do like I want you know I want to get to know everyone. Okay, so it was Mr. Ben L. Hall. L. Hall. Okay. Paper cut survivor, born at a very young age, often licks the apples in Tesco. House music gives me diarrhea. Hope I spelled that right. Otherwise, that'd be shit. Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he has 234,000 followers. How many hits? Uh, <laughs> 234,000. That's a lot. Holy she, shit. Look, she says she doesn't math, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, he is hilarious. That, that is great. Um, <laughs> listen, 200,000 followers. Thanks a million. Dot, dot, dot. One fifth of a million. Anyway, here's a cat giving a duck a piggyback ride. <laughs> I'm going to retweet this on my Twitter so all of us can go and follow him because he's doing something right. Um, but, but I was already following him. Okay, and there you go. So, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the chat room uh, or in the, uh, in the video stream, I just put up the picture of the, of the tweet that I was mentioning. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Oh, why is all of my... God damn it. My web browsers are closing. What the fuck is going on today? <laughs> well, kicked out. Um... That was a great one. He's he's awesome. So there oh. you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, Meg. Meg is trying to tell me how to do this on Twitter. Meg, send me the hot mail. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he probably still thinks you're joking that, that you have a hot mail. <laughs> My email address and phone number is literally all over the internet. I get prank calls at least once a day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is so oh awesome. God. Constantly, I like it though. But but it's but funny. do you, do you ever answer it and just pr- play along? That's that's well, what I, I always, like when I get a phone call that I, yeah yeah you're like hey hi how are you and they're like uh is Jim there like, you're like, I am this is Jim has it been <laughs> that long since we talked <laughs> I oh, I go I go by Janet now. <laughs> <laughs> persona that's that's awesome i talk to them and a lot of times it's like a group of guys who will be like all just shouting mass text lyrics or something and then i, I try and engage them. i'm like hey and i'll be like it's a wisconsin swim team and i'll be like oh tell me about practice <laughs> <laughs> oh oh tay you need a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, like a high quality one, not not just some random shit on the internet. Well, you guys can vet them. If I go in more than two dates with someone, which is really rare, because they're either the worst or they get super freaked out by me, then I will bring them on the show 
and you and Chat Realm can vet them for me. C- because because nothing that says, was- hey, let's continue this relationship like vetting them on the fucking internet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if they can't handle that, they don't deserve you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, and like, I, honestly, not to talk about like my dating life in detail, but I don't. It's a lot to take in. Like, they have to be. Super yeah, that's, that's what sick. she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it shouldn't be a lot to take in from me, though. I should be taking it in. <laughs> so that was bad. That was. Crazy. And we lost Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's actually one of the things that uh, that uh, Mary Nichols talked about on the Undaunted podcast uh, when I was talking to her was about how uh, when she starts dating someone and they find out that she has a podcast, they're like, oh, that podcast thing that you do, or it's just a podcast or whatever, like her online visibility and, and uh, personality and everything else is just such a part of who she actually is that it has stopped her from continuing relationships because whoever she's in the relationship with doesn't take it seriously. Yeah, I get that. I've also dated a guy and then him be like, oh, God, you look like such a porn star. Can check that off my list. So, like, that sucks. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, I... I what, what, yeah. What, is the, uh, what is the worst pickup line ever used uh, to, to, try to try to pick you up? Uh, <laughs> um... Or, or the most memorable one. If there's like one in, in your mind that's just like, wow, I can't believe. That that happened. That, that's that's, probably, that's like every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. No, normally I'm the one saying things that were like, ooh, why was that said? <laughs> oh, oh, I want an example. Yes, of that. yes. Th- there we go. Even forget, better. Forget okay. people trying to pick you up. I want to hear yeah. your pick up. <laughs> okay. Who wants, who wants to be the guy? <laughs> go ahead, Kent. Well, I'm married. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm married. So, okay, I'll be. I there. have to recuse myself. Uh, you know, just naturally. <laughs> I'm not trying to get divorced again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're moving on. We're, we're good. We're good. Okay. So, what's the setting? Um, let's Someone go with uh, l- let's go let's go with a let's go with a, an early evening in a bar to where the music isn't up too loud. There's not a whole lot of people, but it's there, there's enough people that you're not the focus of attention, but it's not so crowded like you can't hear each other. It's you know, like we're, we're talking like a like six thirty at a B Dubs. Okay, so play along with me and help me because you know how awkward okay. I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's always kind of hard to get started. You know, normally anyone talking like i'm not brave enough to go up and be like hey so normally like something happens okay so like, so so the waitress is taking forever you go to get your you go to get your drink at the bar instead of waiting for her and kent is sitting there yeah okay so, like oh man this beer is so good oh yeah what kind are you having that was normal <laughs> oh I, I like pale ale so i'm having a sierra nevada nice what do you like I'll- I'll rock an IPA now and then. Cool, you know, cool. Like, can, yeah. Can I buy you a drink? Or no, wait. No, you're, you're supposed to be the one. Oh, oh shit. Okay. See, oh, see, okay. see, Kent, this, this is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my bad, my bad. You're automatically like the best guy I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so what I meant was, oh, yeah, you should like IPAs because I like them. Yeah, <laughs> Hey! Oh, holy shit! Kent, Kent just turned into Brian Brushwood right there. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is perfect. We're back on track. Hey, there aren't enough seats on, at this bar. You want to go have these on that stool while I wait for my drink? <laughs> um. Oh my god! Back in my single days, that would have been the best thing ever. Like that would have that would have been like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's, that is no doubt. No, that is no doubt. When I was like twenty, I would have like, oh my god. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not. I would, I'm saying like now, if I were single, that'd be, that'd just be the greatest. Like I, that, that is so, so insanely awkward and out of the blue that I'd just be like, yes, this is. Um, I, I, I would be texting my friends right now, going, I'm done for the night. Just don't bother calling me. <laughs> uh, but that's why we are in chat realm and you guys like me and i like you like we are such a specific we are literally only 10 percent 
of the world. If you look at my like to dislike ratio on my videos, we are so small. Like people aren't like us. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's sweet guys like that, but most guys would be like, "Oh my god!" And I like start making all these faces and stuff. And I don't <laughs> <laughs> no, if you can make me laugh, you're in the door, and I would have been laughing my ass off if somebody <laughs> said that. Okay, okay. So let's go with another scenario. Ready? Another scenario. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right. So, so Tay, you you were out eating dinner. All right. Um, your girlfriend stood you up. You're supposed to have have dinner with a girlfriend, and she like last minute fucking boyfriend drama period or something, whatever. She's like, I can't, I can't go to dinner. <laughs> so, so you're like, fuck it. I'm already oh going out. I'm already looking forward to eating some damn tacos. Like this is, I'm I'm fucking going out and I'm I'm eating. So, so you're there and you're looking at the menu and you're ch- checking out these amazing tacos, and your waiter comes up. Enter Kent. Oh, okay. Hello, I'm Kent. I'm going to be your server tonight. Is there anything I can get you to drink? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. How are the Brussels sprouts? Well, uh, I'm not a Brussels sprout person myself. I can ask the chef if if, uh, you You can have a... You (laughs) (laughs) What? Can I get you something to drink, ma'am? I don't know. My girlfriend's left me, but I would tell him the whole story. My girlfriend's left me, and they were supposed to show up, but she's being a cut-ass bitch-ass hoe. And honestly, like, I was at home all day editing on my computer with my cat, and this is my first time getting out, so I guess I'm going to sit here and eat alone. But, like, boy, if you want to be awkward with me, come back over with some iced tea now. Okay, sorry. I'll I'll be right back, ma'am. i got to go check on my other customers. Okay. You gotta go go clock out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pro- yeah, probably. <clears throat> oh like, man, this girl is just awkward enough to give me the time of day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. All right, let's. Oh my god, she went there. <laughs> Uh, let's go to let's go to the chat room real quick. Uh, chat room, what what situation uh, can you think of where uh, where where Tay runs into Kent and uh, and there needs to be some small talk? Let's see if let's see if chat room can come up with something. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what. Yeah, what is Tom referring to there? Uh oh. Oh, I, that's what I said. I think flight attendant at the gyno. Okay. <laughs> A flight oh, attendant yeah, at the gyno. <laughs> are too big for email. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you probably you can just right click on that file and wait, are you on an Apple or a, a, a Windows machine? PC. Okay, you can probably just right click on that file and say save as. We won't we... No, it, did it. it said no. Oh. In line okay. for the restroom at a concert. Ooh. Okay. Like the ideas what? are just flowing in now. What hey, concert? What? what concert? Let's uh, let's go. Uh, hmm. Pearl Jam. Ooh, that would be a good concert. I just wanted right. to see them live, yeah. actually. Okay, oh, so who's so who's who's hitting on who? She, well, she's hitting on you, but you were making yourself okay. available. Okay, got it. Got it. That's got that's, it, got that's, it. that's that's the whole skit. Yeah. All right, so but, we're but, so but, we're in line. Okay. You can hit on me a little bit, and then I ruin it. That's what okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So, we're, so we're in line at a. Yeah. We're in line for the restroom at a Pearl Jam concert, right? Right. Right. Yeah. The, the 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 opening act has just left the stage. They've just announced it's going to be about thirty minutes while they reconfigure the stage, and then before Pearl Jam comes on, got it. and you're like, "Hey, fourteen beers in, I need to go to the bathroom." Yeah, oh, that like, sounds right. Now. Okay. Oh man, fucking 1998 is so awesome! Rock on, Pearl <laughs> Jam. Yeah, I'm so glad that someone else my age is here. I fucking love Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam is the shit, man. Yeah. I-, I love them so much better than Nirvana. <gasps> I literally paused in my head. I wouldn't have said it in my head. I was like, because <laughs> we're out like. <laughs> You may be about to go take a shit. <laughs> so I can see where your troubles are. I can see. <laughs> I can. I can. I can. I can. I'm beginning to understand. I'm beginning to see the uh, uh, the why. 
of the awkwardness. Um, I just don't know how to small talk. <laughs> I just go for the jugular. Anyway, we can keep going. But I had to let you know that that was that was floating around. In my head. And, 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 wow. Oh my god! So many like awkward things just went through my head. So I'm supposed to be like the semi-normal one. So, yeah. so. Okay. And that's another so reason why you're doing this, not me. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. I feel like we've already fallen in love three times. But oh, you know. okay. Yeah. So, so uh, at at our um, Ace of Base concert next week, we can get married, right? No, sorry. Okay. So moving on. Um, yeah, <laughs> man. It, this, 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 it out because if, if we're if we're in line still okay when and where <laughs> okay for, first of all did ace of base ever actually have concerts <laughs> i think they did right didn't they like how much 90s? of a disaster would that have been i mean <laughs> it's like really loud elevator music with someone just saying the same three lines over <laughs> the entire time awesome. but i had the era right right <laughs> Uh, uh, sure, sure. They'd, they'd been like on a recovery tour by '98, but yeah, not not too bad. I have fried so many brain cells since the late '90s that I can't even remember what bands were like doing concerts then. Oh, uh, ah, but Bush and Soundgarden. I went to a Bush and Soundgarden concert. That's what I should have said. Mm. I went to Fall Out Boy like recently. Yeah, how was oh, it? And I love, oh my God, they're like my favorite. I love their new album. They did a duet with Elton John. Could you talk to my heart more? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I like Mech's scenario. He, oh. he just put uh, it, in line for free STD screening at the local community center next to the bowl of free condoms. Ah! Amazing. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to start this one. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm a Trojan. <laughs> USC? No. No, no, I'm, I'm with you. I, I don't think Kent can can handle the pressure. Oh, wait. <laughs> no? I, don't, I don't know how to react to that. Um, yeah. Um. Okay. Sorry. Shit. That's like yeah. where I went to school. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it, but I don't know how to react to that. The the, the appropriate oh, response hey. to that would be, oh, well, I'm a Magnum. Oh, oh that's good. That was good. That's why you're. Married. Yeah. All right. So uh, you know what? Let, tag me. Tag out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tag out, Amos. You tag in. Go, so, so go. I'm gonna tag out. I shouldn't be, keep having to do this. <laughs> <laughs> any any prospective male figure could be watching this. And what? <laughs> well, well some, all it's gonna do is it's them. just gonna thin the herd to where the the ones that like if they see this and they're like, oh no, she's far too ridiculous for me. They will never get in that situation. So therefore, you have more opportunities with the ones that are actually accepting of it just by math. The numbers game. Oh my gosh, I've done some crazy things. Once I pretended to be Jewish and I went to a shit, uh, the Hillel because I love hummus. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow, wow. Yeah, I love hummus. I'll too. save the date story that came from that for the next time we do this. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually try hummus for the first time until about a year and a half ago. Yeah, it was just That's something I never, I never did. Like my mom never like, bought it or anything else. And, and one day my wife brought it home, and she was like, "Yeah, you should try this with these crackers." And all, all it was, she was trying to find a way to get me to eat the healthy fucking crackers. And it, uh, I mean, I mean, it worked. I, you know, it totally worked because the shit was delicious. Yeah, oh yeah, hummus is the so shit. Good. Yep, I do. It's I way it. better than poi. Have you ever had poi? Eh. Dipped, eh, yeah. dipped in the chocolate. Poi is amazingly awful. It's, oh. it's got about the same consistency as hummus with a little bit more stringiness to it and uh, this complete, absolute ass flavor. It's just, it's not good. No, uh, I don't eat ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the problem. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Holy crap. All right, Tay. Well, we, uh, I, I don't, well, Kent, actually, Kent's got something. <laughs> Kent, Kent just texted me to remind me that I never got to his geeky thing of the week. So, I was supposed to find I, a good transition into it, but uh, I think this is a perfectly good transition for this episode. Hey, Kent, <laughs> what's your geeky thing of the week? Um, well, okay, so the setup that we had in the show notes would have been better, but Amos decided not to open 
show notes this week. So a little behind the scenes. Um, so the thing that Amos was supposed to say was, what does Darth Vader have to do with Clifford the Big Red Dog? What what does what does Darth Vader have to do with Clifford the Big Red Dog? Uh, nothing. So that brings that brings us up. <laughs> <a good point. laughs> like what? Well, what the? Like, <laughs> the last sixty seconds of this show. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I believe in you guys. I'm sure this is going. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. So, uh, all right. Dar- Darth Vader really has nothing to do with Clifford the Big Red Dog. However, my geeky thing of the week this week just happened today at work. I, I didn't even think about this until the end of the workday. Because I was like, man, I haven't done shit this week that has been geeky. And then I remembered I did probably one of the geekiest things that I've ever done this, like, forever. During work. So, Falcon Den in the chat room, that's my buddy Chuck. And at work, we have this, this, uh, like, inter-office chat program, basically. It's like a messenger program. Okay. And so, he and I... We'll get on there, you know, usually once a day or every couple of days and talk about geeky shit. Lately, it's been Star Wars. But it's usually just like the conversation will last like, you know, two or three minutes or whatever. And then like, oh, maybe I'll see you at lunch or something. And then that's it. Well, today, he he asked me if I had heard about some, you know, the, the latest Star Wars theory for what, you know, how episode eight's going to go or something like that. I was like, yeah, yeah, but that's kind of dumb or whatever. Well, then we just went down this rabbit hole. So we found a way, and we chatted throughout the entire day, mind you. So I would, I would look at my messenger, and I would send him a message, and then I would just go back to work. And then a couple minutes later, I'd look at the messenger, read his thing, and then I'd send him a message. Well, okay. we realized at the end of the day that, that Outlook saves a transcript of these chats. Right. So, yeah, so we have it, we have it in email form. And I counted up the references that we made. <clears throat> so we are going to make a movie, Chuck and I, and it okay. is going to be a multiverse movie that consists of. And now keep in mind, this was all during chat at work. Okay, we were supposed to be pr- productive. We tied in Star Wars, Harry Potter, Doctor Who, The Wizard of Oz, Transformers, GI Joe, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, The Muppets, Game of Thrones, The Sopranos, Marvel Comics, The Last Starfighter, Toy Story, Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, Spaceballs, Jurassic Park, Portal. Looney Tunes, Masters of the Universe, Thundercats, Evil Dead, Neverending Story, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Lord of the Rings, Star Fox, Voltron, Power Rangers, Firefly, Buck Rogers, Planet of the Apes, and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <gasps> All in wait, one, wait, one wait. movie. Where's your Dragonlance reference? Uh, yeah, Failed. Dragonlance. God. Yeah, it, it, however, however, <laughs> this movie, we, we figured out this movie is going to cost $42 billion to make. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and it's liable to make how much back? Oh, uh, trillions, <laughs> trillions of dollars, because we are sitting on gold, brother. And he and I, he and I are going to be in the movie, not as like, you know, Stormtrooper number seven in the back row or whatever. We are going to be named credited characters mm-hmm. in this movie. Mm-hmm. We are going to have action figures made of us uh-huh. with, with Kung Fu grip and the complete with the, the Boba Fett firing rocket backpack. I, I. Like, this is amazing. Like, like par- part part of me wants to see this hit Kickstarter right now, and the other part <laughs> wants to make fun of this hitting Kickstarter right now. I right, so- wanted to, and if you need someone to play the prostitute, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> okay, amazing. Because we were gonna email Mel Brooks, and this was going to be the the script for Spaceballs Two, which uh, is actually. Uh, there you go. So- now, now it's starting to make sense. That now, right. now, it's, now, now it's actually now, starting now to flow. This might be a thing. Right. Ken, I know that's supposed to be dorky, but I think that is super cool. That I cannot believe that you guys were able to rope all that in. I can't even fathom how you did that. <laughs> so, so, we had things like like Daenerys Targaryen coming out of hyperspace, riding a dragon, and taking mm-hmm. on Voltron, and like all kinds of shit was going on. Uh, was, um, Im- uh, imagine uh, uh, Daenerys Targaryen playing Quidditch. Oh my god! On drag so on dragon back, huh? So hot. Like I'm just saying that that's that that's worth my money right there. 
Well, I think I think Drogon would probably just breathe fire and destroy all those fucking Hogwarts little bitches. Right, which ah. is why it would be so much so worth it. <laughs> like, I don't want to see it live. I don't want to see it on the screen. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, awesome. I wish we lived in that world. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Uh, that would yeah, be that... Go to the Goblet of Fire events right now. Mark, mark it down now. Tay wishes she lived in a world where she was cast as a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Holy crap. Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys. Uh, Well, I'm being a little sleepy because it's like one in the morning here. mm -hmm. But this was amazing. I literally had so much fun, and I'm so down to do more if you guys are. Perpetual invitation. Yes. Easily. (laughs) So we we tend to do this every Friday about the same time. Roughly. Depending on technical difficulties. Sometimes it is us, actually, and not the guest. Um, uh, but yeah, just you know, jump on, jump on DiamondClub.tv, see if we're on, and if if you, if you feel like it, just call in. You have our Skype, so just call in. Yeah. Oh, you have our Skype. This is so cute. <laughs> I love it. So I'm it's like talk- we're going steady now. Uh, yeah, like we're, we're like we just fell in love six times. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like your Look. girlfriend did not be worried before, but now that you've heard my lines. <laughs> this is this is true. This is true. Like like Taya spit her best game tonight. Stephanie, so. Stephanie, this is your competition. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Ask me if he's gonna take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't come to South. Come to South by So Wasted, and anytime Kent goes to the bathroom, make sure you're in line with him. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> Tay's gonna be next. You go, you go, you're number one or number two. <laughs> Long, I bet you get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh All right. Well, this yeah. has been an amazing evening with the the yeah. not just any, not just some random uh some random shitty Tay Allen out there floating around or some random cool Tay Allen. No, 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 no. This has been an amazing evening with the Tay Allen. The Tay Allen. Thank you guys. Mwah. You guys are so nice. It was so fun. Mm. And you're so funny and everyone's so cool. I love it. All right, Chow Realm. Anything, any last words you would like to say before she clicks on the old uh, bloop, bloop, bloop button? Well, that's assuming I know how to turn this off. <laughs> All right. But oh, oh, before yeah. oh, you, before be you go, be, be, before you go, Tay, uh, we're like, if in case, in case for whatever, I don't even know how it would be possible, but if they're not following you on the Twitters or on the social medias or, or they have never heard of you or, like I don't how I don't, okay, but we're just we're just going in the realm since we're making up stories and shit. So if someone has never heard of the Tay Allen, how Aww. do people find out where you are and, and catch up on your on your stuff? I love it. So yes, the Tay Allen A L L Y N. That's always a doozy. And then follow me on Instagram, the Tay Allen. My Facebook is Tay Allen Pop Girl. And that can get really awkward. But for all of you watching right now, I anyone who sends me a friend request to my personal Facebook, I will accept you because I, that's let's be honest, like that's real life, that's friendship. And you can search Tate T A T E Allen A L L Y N because I was getting a lot of requests, so I had to change it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, if you're feeling like really spicy and audacious, you can follow my new Tate Allen stuff too because that's going to be creepy and. Probably Ock Metal. And that's T-A-T-E. There we go. There we go. <laughs> with the flourish. With the flourish. <laughs> I need to get better at that. Like, that's the one thing I should know how to do. And I fucking hate telling people where to find me. <laughs> like, okay, guys. Follow me. <laughs> that was a bit, that's the next GIF right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Matt, get on it. <laughs> yeah, Matt, get on it. <laughs> That's going to be amazing. Mech said, Mech said, also, what's your Hotmail address? <laughs> hey, Alan, at Hotmail.com. I don't have the business inquiries that all those fancy motherfuckers have. <laughs> oh, man. All right, ma'am. Well, we will let you go. Thank you all so right. much for stopping by. Feel free to come back by anytime you like. And uh, if nothing else, we will see you at South by So Wasted. Absolutely. Oh, we will chop this morning. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much, Tay. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, so good. And so it's good. Just gone. <laughs>
Holy crap, man. That was that was amazing. That was good times. And I'm hearing myself in the echo. That's your own good fault. Job, babes. Look, shouldn't you just be happy like that I'm I'm streaming anything at all like cuz right now the video's kind of kind of junk. It's it's actually it's actually a lot of junk. Like I can't even find the little thing here. I I got I got to get this OBS thing figured out eventually. There we go. Your head's big as fuck, but oh well. That is awesome. So anyhow, if you want to follow me, <coughs> go to at rm underscore del noche on Twitter. I've been tweeting a lot more lately, so go there and see what I'm up to. Or you can go to ratebeer.com and look up username del noche and find out what I think about all kinds of beers. Where are you at, Amos? Uh, Ethan Kane at Ethan Kane on Twitter. And holy shit, like I still cannot get you to get in frame here. I am the I'm absolutely the fucking worst at this right now. Um, well, that's why we're still in beta. Definitely, definitely still in beta. Uh, yeah, um, sit over to go go all the way to the go all the way to your uh, your left. Uh, no, the other left. So I must have meant right. So my right. Yeah, there you go. It's in reverse, but I can kind of see your face over the uh, over the logo. <laughs> amazing <laughs> this is why we're still in beta it is holy shit it is exactly why we're still in beta and if you like that catchphrase <laughs> you can go to com slash swag uh oh falcon then says beta trending alpha <laughs> <laughs> yes oh oh yes we don't we need any a help. special tay line of products oh we man gotta figure out the goddamn user interface on that thing oh jesus <laughs> this, this is this is awful. Like everything was so set up before the show, and now it's it's uh, it's not. We might have to split this episode in two, or at least like edit the fuck out of this thing. Yeah, yeah, that might that might have to happen. It's not cooperating. So anyway, uh, you can follow the show at Ritual Misery on the the, the aforementioned tweeters. Holy shit! Like, why is this being so fucking difficult right now? You know, we're just, All right, so I'm, I'm, do you want me I'm to do this right here. Close the show while you're trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. All right. So you can follow the show on Twitter at Ritual Misery. If you have some ideas for us, you can go to ritualmisery.reddit.com and submit your ideas there. Or if you just have a, a a link to some crazy shit on the internet that you want to show us, go to ritualmisery.reddit.com. You can also email us, podcast at ritualmisery.com. There we go. If you want to call and leave us a voicemail, I guarantee we will play it on the show. All you got to do is call 567-69-TRMPC. That's 567-698-7672. Of course, you can find all these links in more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We also want to thank Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his music so cool. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Hey, uh, for Amos, I, I got it uh, fixed, man. Like, you're actually you showing. It? Yeah. It's, okay. It's there. You, right. You, you delivered the last line. All Go right. Ahead. Do it. For, for Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. And for Tay. Uh, and for Tay. See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>